It was heartbreak for Corey Sandhagen on Saturday. He comes out on the losing end of a razor-thin split decision to TJ Dillashaw in the UFC on ESPN 27 main event. This was a high-level, excellent fight for all five rounds. Corey Sandhagen fought a beautiful fight out there and has a very great argument that this decision should have been his three rounds to two. It was really a very, very close fight. I think he has a good argument when he says post-fight that he feels he inflicted the more damage. Dillashaw was definitely on wobbly legs and a couple points in that fight, of course, had the injured leg and the cut as well. So if you're Sandhagen, I can imagine how you would come out of this fight with a bitter taste in your mouth. But for him, handles this defeat with so, so much class in his post-fight interview, saying all the right things, feeling he's not going to whine about it, not going to complain. He just wants to get back to work, get another win, and put himself right back in the title picture in the bantamweight division. And I do not think that is unrealistic for him. He said in an interview on the post-fight show that he talked to UFC matchmaker Sean Shelby and that he is one win away from getting right back into a title shot. From what I've heard, that may not necessarily be the fully accurate interpretation of their conversation, but nevertheless, I don't think he is on the wrong track with that. And if you look around the division with the fights that are booked right now, who is available, I would target in on Rob Font. Rob Font, of course, on a great streak of his own coming off a main event win over Car Cody Garbrandt and on a solid winning streak right now. I think if you're Sandhagen, you try to make that matchup happen. Two excellent strikers, that would just be a phenomenal fight on the feet if it played out there. So much fun to watch and I think the winner of that would still have a great argument for the title shot. It's going to be a little bit of a wait for the Aljamain Sterling Peter Jan rematch to play out and then Dillashaw to fight for the belt after that. Corey Sandhagen, even though this was a difficult setback, is not too far off from moving right back forward if he's able to beat Rob Font next.